for any public release. With me at the table to share their reporting and their insights, our senior political reporter, Nia Malika Henderson, senior justice correspondent, Evan Perez, justice reporter, Laura Jarrett, and chief legal analyst, Jeffrey Tubin. Uh, number one, uh, we'll see what happens this afternoon. Uh, it's like anything. You get this break. Everybody resets. They go into the room and plot strategy. Uh, but Bill Barr helped himself this morning, mm -hmm. without a doubt. Uh, the Democrats have the big questions about Mueller. Uh, did anything? Any openings? I mean, there are 53 <laughs> Republicans but, in the Senate. So yeah, he's, I mean, he's in anyway. He's, yeah, he, he's, he's going to yeah. get confirmed yeah. in, in any case. But but I thought he was a very impressive witness. I mean, he he was plain spoken. He didn't you know uh, try to hedge. Uh, um, in, in in any obvious way, I think one area where um, I think the, the more aggressive Democrats are going to try to take him on is about the report mm -hmm. right. and the public release of the report, because he said, "I will make it report. I will make it public to the extent I can." Yeah. That that being the weasel word, and and I think the issue of how much the president will be allowed to cite executive privilege to keep stuff secret. That's something I expect some of the senators will, will want to explore. But other than that, I mean, in terms of Mueller's independence, it's hard to he imagine he could have given any more strong... If, if you trust Barr and yeah. if you know Barr, and some of the senior Democrats do know him, it'll be interesting to see how they vote, because they like him, they respect him, they know him socially around town, they've known him for 30-plus years, they're thrilled to have an adult at the Justice Department, they face pressure from their base uh, to vote no. But if